Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be a tutorial on this look right here. This is a beautiful sparkly golden glittery smoky eye look with red lips and extremely glowy skin. I feel like this look is perfect for those of you who want to go extremely bold on Valentine's Day and you want to go all out. I'm also going to show you my outfit at the end of this video and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to know how to get this look, please keep on watching. So I'm going to start by priming my eyelids and for that I'm using the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and I'm just going to take a little tiny bit on my finger and put it on my eyelids. This is just going to prime my eyes for eyeshadow and everything is going to look a little bit better because this is going to even out the skin tone on my eyes. Now I'm going to set that with powder so it doesn't move and my eyeshadows have a nice base and this is how I like to prime my eyes for eyeshadow. I'm going to be using Maybelline the Nudes palette today and I just got it recently so I'm really excited to use it. I have used it once, um, I used it day before and I really liked the pigmentation of the eyeshadows. Um, oh, the problem with trying to get ready with me is just that I forget to show you the products. Um, I'm using this shade right here just to even out my eyelid and to create a nice base for all of the other shadows to blend into. Now I'm using this Faces Eyeshadow Crayon. This is in the shade Night Fever and it's a really really beautiful gold eyeshadow. As you can see it's very nicely pigmented. So I like to use this as a base for my gold eyeshadows and since this is a really gold Valentine's look um, I just wanted to use this as a nice base and afterwards we are going to top it off with a gold eyeshadow from the Maybelline The Nudes palette. And as you can see I'm not going in the outer V, I'm just keeping it right in the inner portion of my eyelid because that's where I want the gold to be and I'm going to darken the outer corner with some other shades. I'm taking this gold shade from the Maybelline palette and this is a MAC 239 and as you can see that is just going to bring out the gold a lot and it's just going to make the gold pop because we have that faces eyeshadow crayon laid underneath. It's just going to help that gold be like really really metallic and nice and that's what we want. And I'm going to take this cool toned warm brown shade, mix it with a little bit of that dark brown, dust off the excess and start building up my outer corner. I'm just going to keep building the color up until I'm happy with the intensity. Now I'm taking this first shade that I started with and this is a MAC 224 and I'm just going to blend all of this and this is going to take a while because I do spend quite a bit of time blending everything. Now I'm going to pick up a little bit of that black shade and this is a Crayolan brush and this is the Art 3511 brush. So I'm picking up the black shade and just stamping it in the outer corner right there because I don't want a harsh um, black outer corner. I just want this look to be nice and smoky without looking like you know too black. And I'm just focusing it in the outer corner right there. Blending everything again with the clean MAC 224. I'm going to touch up that gold now because I feel like I lost a little bit of that gold with all the blending. Now for the fun part, the glitter. I recently got these in the mail and this is the Faces Glitter Stack and I'm going to use the gold one right there as you can see and there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 shades of glitter and these cost 900 rupees so I feel like that's pretty good value. So you just twist the stack and here is your glitter. So I'm going to use the gold one and I'm going to wet a really fine eyeliner brush with a little bit of um, eyelid primer and I'm going to pick up the glitter that way so it doesn't fall all over my face. <laughs> oh boy, that is pretty. Okay, yeah, I'm definitely going to love that. This glitter is really really nice. It's not chunky and you know disgusting. <laughs> it is nice and fine. You only want to keep the glitter on the front part of your eyelid 
and do not take it outside where we have all the smoke so yeah that is my glitter done I'm gonna move on to my eyeliner now don't worry about all of this glitter fallout on my face I'm gonna wipe that off once both of my eyes are done so I'm using the Lotus Eco Stay Kajal and I'm gonna tight line my top waterline I'm also gonna pull my eyelid dot and line my top lash line Now I'm going to use the sugar I told you so liquid eyeliner and I'm just going to create that really bold wing because I love a winged eyeliner and yeah I rock a winged eyeliner on regular days as well so on date night you especially need a nice winged out bold eye. I mean that's my style. You could just leave it like this and it would still look really nice. After it has dried, I am going to curl my eyelashes. This is the Colourpop Eyelash Curler. Now I'm going to apply tons of mascara. I'm not going to do false lashes today because I just don't feel like it. So I'm going to do lots and lots of mascara. You can of course go ahead and apply false lashes if you want to. Um, I just wanted to keep this look nice and glittery and fun. Of course false lashes would look really really beautiful. But I can't be bothered today. The first coat was Maybelline the Falsies, this is Maybelline the Colossal and these are my favourite mascaras in the world, especially in combination. Now I'm going to take a makeup wipe and wipe all of this glitter and everything off. This is why I like to do my eyes first, so I can create a mess and then I can clean it up afterwards. Now I'm going to prime my face and I'm using the L'Oreal Base Magic Primer and I'm just going to put it in the areas where I have comparatively larger pores than the rest of my face. Please ignore my nails. I always realize while editing that I haven't done my nails and I just don't enjoy doing my nails. I mean I'd rather get them done at a salon because I don't enjoy doing my nails. It's just so mundane and boring. This primer really fills in my pores and makes my skin nice and smooth and matte. I do really like that and it actually makes my makeup last longer. So I've noticed that quite a bit with this primer and my baby hair is starting to grow out. So I'm going to get them waxed once they are at a decent length because I hate my baby hair. I realize that my forehead looks a little bit larger if I wax my baby hair off but I just like it this way. Now I'm going to move on to foundation and for that I'm using the Faces Glam On Prime Perfect Foundation. I mentioned this in my 2015 favourites. I have normal to oily skin. My mother has normal to dry skin and even she loves this foundation a lot. So this actually works great for both of us. And the finish of this foundation is really really nice and natural and glowy. And it does not look like a lot of foundation on the skin, but it still has medium coverage and it also lasts really well on me. I'm a little bit weird this way because I keep switching between brushes and sponges whenever I'm doing my makeup. Sometimes I'll use a brush and then in the middle I just use and stop a sponge. I just stop and use a sponge and sometimes I'll use a sponge and stop and use a brush. So yeah, I'm just kind of weird that way. <laughs> So I'm just going to buff this onto my entire face and you can see that this has a nice um, naturally dewy kind of finish and it does not look cakey on the skin but it still has medium coverage. Of course I'm going to bounce my sponge because it just makes everything look 10 times more natural. Now for some contouring I'm going to use the LA Girl Pro Concealer and this is in the shade Toast and you want to work one area at a time because this concealer is really um, fast drying so it will set in the area where you put it so I like to do one so I like to do one cheek and one area of my face first so I'm using the Morphe what brush is this G3 brush um, to blend this concealer I'm also going to take it on my forehead 
because I do have a large forehead and I like the contour it. And I really like how uniform it makes my face look. But just remember if you have a short forehead, you really do not need to do this. This is only meant for people who have a large forehead like myself. And if you have a medium sized forehead, then just use a little bit of bronzer on your forehead to even things out and even out your contour and everything. But since I have this Sanakshi Sana forehead, I like to blend everything in and contour. I'm also going to contour my nose a little bit and I only have to do one side of my nose because my nose goes this way. So if I contour this side as well, my nose ends up looking really crooked and I already have a crooked nose so I only contour one side of my nose. Um, that was because I had an accident as a child and my nose was fractured and I've always wanted a nose job but I'm too scared um, because as you can see my bone is a little bit bent from here. I think I've just come to accept that I have a crooked nose and I feel like I'm just too lazy to do anything about it and I contour it. That's what makeup is for. Um, I've just gone to this bone right here that sticks out because it was broken when I was about 8 or 9 I think. So yeah, that's the story of my nose. Um, I got hit by a bat and my nose went that way and I was wearing a white dress which turned red because of all the blood and I will never forget that day. But that's okay. I have moved on from that now and I'm just contouring my jawline now. Again, if you have a very defined chin or a defined jawline, you don't need to do this. But this is a great technique if you have a double chin because this will really help um, hide and fade out that double chin. Now I'm using this orange corrector underneath my eyes. This is by Clinique and I believe this is and I believe this is discontinued but you can still find orange correctors in a lot of different places. You can get one from MAC. You can also find a cheaper one at the Creolon store and I think that is the Dermacolor Camouflage Cream and they do come in an orange variant and of course you can also get um, the Bobbi Brown Peach Corrector that also works amazingly. So I'm just going to put it underneath my eyes and kind of around the sides of my mouth where I have a little bit of darkness and I want to counter eye that a little bit. Now I'm going back to my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. And I'm going to put some of that on my palm first. Pick it up with the same brush. This is a color bar eyeshadow brush. So I am just putting it where I want the highlight to be. This is in the shade NC30. And this is a shade lighter than my skin tone because I like to highlight with it. Now I'm also going to put it um, around the sides of my mouth wherever I put um, that orange concealer. And go back to my beauty blender. For an extra bit of highlight, I'm using the Maybelline Dream Lumi Touch Concealer. I just want that really gorgeous highlight under my eyes today. And this is in the shade Ivory. I'm also putting it around my mouth and a little bit in the center of my forehead and just along the bridge of my nose. The glitter is still falling off on my face. I kind of don't like that. I'm also trying out a new product. This is the Faces Metallic Glow Highlighter and this is a liquid highlighter so kind of like on the same lines of um, Benefit High Beam and the Body Shop Radiant Highlighter, Revlon Skin Lights, and this <clears throat> and this costs 800 and 900. I'm not sure. This is in the shade Opal, and it's a really nice champagne-y, beautiful goldy shade. So I'm just gonna pump a pea-sized amount like that on my hand, and taking that same brush that I used for my concealer, I'm putting it on the high points on my cheeks and blending that in with my fingers and you want to blend it really really soon because um, if you don't blend it as you go this is gonna set and then it becomes really hard to blend it so just make sure to blend it as soon as you apply it and you only do one area at a time I feel like I could have mixed this in with my foundation as well if you want a really nice super glowy super dewy finish 
You can of course mix this in with your foundation as well. But don't put too much in otherwise you'll end up looking like a disco ball. And always remember to use cream products with cream and powder products with powder. So don't use this after you've used your powder. Just use this before you set your entire makeup with powder. So my skin is pretty glowy right now. I'm also just putting a little bit on my chin, blending it out with my fingers, on the tip of my nose, blending it out with my fingers, along the bridge of my nose, blending it out with my finger, <laughs> and just above my eyebrows right there. I don't like putting such stark highlighters um, in the center of my forehead. I like to highlight with concealer there. Because if you put a lot of highlighter in the center of your forehead, it ends up looking like you have an oily face. And we want to glow. We want to look like we are glowing from within. We don't want to have an oily face. This is also great to use as a base under your highlight if you want your highlight to last all night. Um, just do this first and apply your highlight and your highlight should last throughout the night. Now I'm going to set my face using the Shampoo or Silver Shadow Compact. I do have a backup of this because I'm almost out of this stuff. So I'm only using product in the outer outer portion right there and I do have a backup so I'm ready to install it whenever I want to. And I'm just gonna use a powder puff like this. I like to use a powder puff because it really presses the powder in and makes it one with the skin. I'm really bothered by this glitter fallout over here but okay I'm trying to ignore that but it's a little bit hard because there is a lot of fallout. I'm using it all over my face to set everything and I could have set the outer periphery of my face with the bronzer but I find if I set that area with the face powder first and then apply my bronzer, my bronzer tends to blend a lot better. I'm going to bronze up my face now and I'm using um, the Crayolan eyeshadow in the shade TV Brown and I have been really really loving this and not using the Body Shop Honey Bronzer is something really really new for me and I'm sure you guys are shocked that I'm not using the Body Shop Honey Bronzer but I've actually fallen in love with this for a really nice natural looking bronzer I'm just using this wherever I used my contouring concealer and I really really love this I think I love it just as much um, as my Body Shop bronzer if not more um, this is completely matte and it is slightly less pigmented than the Body Shop bronzer but I actually kind of like that because that means that I don't go overboard with my bronzer which I did used to um, but now I feel like I have more control um, but what can I do? I really love nicely bronzed and beautiful glowy skin who doesn't? so yeah I'm just bronzing all over my face I mean all over the outside of my face wherever I put the concealer I'm just using a clean brush now um, to blend and buff everything Now I'm going to do my eyebrows off camera and I'm going to be using the sleek eyebrow kits. I use the one in dark for the outside part of my eyebrow and I use the one in light for the front part of my eyebrow. And the dark one looks like this and the light one looks like that. So I'm just going to fill my eyebrows in and come back. So after my eyebrows are done, I'm going to use this whitey highlighty shade from Maybelline the Nudes palette and just highlight under my eyebrow right there. Just a little bit. Okay, maybe not a little bit. I'm also going to put the same color in my inner corners right there. That's not enough. I'm going to use MAC Soft and Gentle in my inner corners because I want a little bit more highlight in the inner corner area. Yeah, that looks slightly better. Now I'm going to use this brown shade on a really small smudger brush. This is Morphe M508. And okay, I'm going to do this side first. So I'm going to put that under my lash line right there. I don't know what I want to do. Do I want to do a black lower lash line 
Or do I want to put a nude eyeliner in it? I want to go smoky. So I think I'm going to go black. Anyway, I'm putting this brown on first. And I'm going to blend that with a pencil brush. I'm going to use Lotus Eco Stay Kajal again and I'm just putting it under my, in my lower lash line and lower waterline and blend. Now I'm going to apply mascara on my lower lashes and no matter what I do, I'm going to go out of frame. So I'm just going to go do that and come back. Moving on to blush, I'm using the Faces Glam on Perfect Blush in the shade Gold Dust. I think I also featured this in my 2015 favourites, but I certainly love this blush a whole lot. And it's a really nice, beautiful, neutral looking blush that goes with all sorts of makeup looks that you want to do. And it just looks so pretty with everything. And yeah, whenever I'm confused about what blush to wear, this is what I wear. It has a little bit of shimmer and sheen. As you can see, my skin is already pretty glowy at the moment because I also put that highlight underneath. So yeah, I'm really enjoying that fun, nice glow. And I'm using a Morphe E4 brush to apply my blush. For my highlight, I'm using MAC Soft and Gentle. And I'm just going to put that on the highest points of my cheeks. A little bit on my chin, and just the tiniest amount. Do you see that glow situation right there? Oh my god, that glow is something. I love a glow that can be spotted from the moon. Also gonna highlight my cupid's bow a little bit. The tip of my nose and along the bridge of my nose. Now for my lips, I'm going to go with the red. If you want to go with a nude, a nude lip would also look really really beautiful with this look. And if you know you're going to be kissing someone, then you would rather wear a nude lipstick. I am someone who likes to go all out and I love wearing bold red lips. And I'm going to do a bold red lip. But just for the sake of this video, I am going to show you how a nude lip looks. So I'm going to apply my nude lipstick and for that I'm using the Debra Milano Lip Liner in the shade 07. And the Maybelline Color Show Matte Lipstick in Mysterious Mocha. This is how it looks when it's matte. If you are a gloss girl, you can definitely go ahead and apply some gloss on it and it would look really really beautiful and I actually want to venture out and wear glosses sometimes so I'm using a Maybelline um, lip polish and this is in the shade Glam 4 and I'm just going to apply the gloss to show you what it looks like this is how nude glossy lips look with this look and I absolutely love this as well I would totally rock this new glossy lip with this bold glittery eye and glowy skin and everything is glowy and I mostly only wear glosses if it's a nude I don't like to wear bold lip colors with glosses because they just feather out and everything just ends up looking really messy and it's really hard to maintain a bold red gloss um, but a matte red lip is much easier to maintain so for a glossy lip I would definitely go nude and you can tell me how this looks in the comments below if you like glossy lips on me or if you like how the nude lip looks with this gold glittery eyes and extremely glowy skin but now I'm gonna move on and show you how I would wear matte red lips my lipstick is of course Ruby Woo by MAC this is my favorite red in the whole world To top it off, I'm using the Sleek Matte Me Liquid Lipstick in the shade Rioja Red or however you pronounce it. It's a beautiful red matte liquid lipstick. So this is the final result. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please remember to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed and liked what you saw. Also, please